is not funny. It's not a delay, it's a... Uh, how would you call it? Is this better? I think it's better now, right? I think it's better. Oh, uh, so, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's different. Okay, it's let me wait. All, ab yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. about the low latency mode. Ah, it's strange, right? Yeah. I mean... Hmm. When I, uh, I... I don't know, like, is the requirement a little higher or something? Or maybe just you should change the settings a little bit? Because I do see uh, some streamers on Twitch using it without... Seemingly without problems. Like, maybe it's a different... Different setup? I don't know. Maybe my PC cannot handle it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so how are people in chat doing? It's Friday night. We're uh, streaming on a Friday night this time, so a bit later than um, than usual. And the reason is that Calder is in Las Vegas right now, attending uh, CES, representing Wooding. <laughs> and um, we want to do like a call with him, so he will join later in the stream to uh, sort of show around what we're up to uh, over there. And um, yeah, so uh, I think it's pretty, I don't know. I think this time is better than a normal time because like I assume more people in the EU can watch and I, I think you can also see from viewers that probably people from the US can tune in now too. Mm. So, um, I mean, it's 1 p.m. East Coast. Swick is near, hey, welcome Swick. And um, yeah, so late in the morning in the West Coast, so. But it's, it's terrible there. for me. Why? Well, normally I'm now eating or playing Overwatch this time, so it's like... Uh, <laughs> now I have yeah. to talk to you guys. <laughs> uh, oh my god, oh can't play Overwatch. <laughs> yeah. Are you still playing Overwatch? Uh, well, sometimes. Most of the times, the end of my workday. Like, half an hour, maybe one or two comp games. Huh. I'm still not good at the game. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a good game. Mm. Waving, waving. Oh, and this live stream we also have the interactive question thing going on. So, oh, so if you have a question, put them in chat, and we can put them on the screen, and we can answer your question anytime. Exactly. Anytime, anywhere. And 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 indeed, Swig, it's uh, oh well, what rank am I? Well, I'm platinum somewhere mid platinum. I think like twenty seven hundred. <laughs> I've been mid platinum for I don't know how many seasons. It's it's always the same. You know, you win two, you lose two, and that's it. Uh. Yeah. You're stuck stuck in Elo hell. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, uh, I have a friend who's like a uh, who's in silver. That's like Elo hell. Oh, hey! <laughs> you didn't do the interactive chat thing. No. You, you asked questions. Yeah, it was the cool question. It was the cool question. Oh, Darren, you have to do better next time, man. I never get invited to Eric. <laughs> okay, let's do this uh, interactive thing. Does it work? Oh, it's still too much work to do, actually. I never get invited by Eric. That's true. I don't play with gold scrubs. <laughs> Would this individual be happier? Oh, wait, you want to put it up here? Be happier if he decided to ditch the numpad and order winning one instead of still waiting for the tooting. <sighs> hmm. Depends, man. It's not, it's not too long ago now. It's not too far out now. But then uh, everybody knows that a 10 kilos layout is better than a, than a full set layout. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should be neutral here, It's like the, the wars between me and Calder and not like. I mean, I can't imagine the stream where I'm not, I'm not here. Neutral. It's 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 only like, oh, only like no, the bad, the bad, the Wooting life with Kappa Jeroen and Sweet Eric. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm jumping in with the Sweet Talk. Well, we're going over. We're going to talk over the Woody to delivery in a bit. Uh, but first, do some uh, little introduction thing. Uh, I think this is a very interesting question. Uh, this one. It's from a uh, Super War. How is the key wobble on the Woody two? Um, I haven't. I, I I wasn't at the Woody two production this time. Calder was. Uh, they have made. As far as I know, they have made improvements to it, but. Since I haven't felt it myself, I don't know exactly like what the exact change is. Hmm. Do you, Eric? Have you... Well, I've never seen a real life wooding to like an actual production sample. The only thing I have is this prototype here. Uh, and 
so far I haven't experienced any hey? key wobble, to be honest. Uh, is this my face of this exploding or? Okay, it's just my face. <laughs> Uh, I think. I think in general the, the, the prototype. The, it's like he was ignoring me or something. <laughs> I'm not ignoring you. I, I just saw. I, okay, maybe a little bit. Yeah. This this one is not perfect anymore though. This is my uh, development prototype. So it has. Uh, this is. This is one I have. This is still. Uh, I think this is still one of the early samples. You can see it, but... Oh, you still have uh, the smooth uh, bottom case. Mine is a little bit rough. Yeah, this is, yeah, exactly. So this is um, one of the early samples, and this is still made by a CNC machine. So that's why the plastic is very smooth. Or is it already made with the tooling? I'm, I'm not sure anymore. I don't, know, I don't remember exactly. And um, yeah, this is it. It's very nice. The key stem stronger than okay, this. Yeah, is... so the key stem uh, has also been improved. So we have a sample here. Do you have a sample, Eric? Uh, yeah, but I showed it on the stream a while back. Oh, yeah, I have it here. I hope. Oh. Let's see where I'm going to put it. Up. Okay, let's see if I can get this on camera. I need to open Skype to see if I can display this clearly. Okay, let's see. So this is. One of the newer switches. Wait, let me get an old one too, so you can see the difference. So this is one. This is how how it used to be. So because of the so there was an injection point. I need something to point. There was an injection point right here, and you can see that the plastic is there a little bit thinner than uh, than it was before. So what they did now is they adjusted the plastic injection, and now. You only see like a very tiny point at the bottom, but at least it doesn't create like a weaker point in the middle anymore. So that's uh, something that is uh, rotating in all the uh, all the winning one keyboards, and also going to be in the winning two keyboards. It is in the winning two keyboards. It is in the winning two keyboards. It is. Yeah. Yeah, and they're in a oh, shared clip, and that's when we did the test for the first time in a live stream. <laughs> oh, really? Did you do that? Where was this? A while back. And Carlo was kind of surprised that I had a new switch in the office. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty. Uh, oh, this clip has a thousand views. Yeah. How old is this? Oh, this is three months ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's super famous. Uh, okay, let's let's delve into some more questions. Uh, this one is interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kraken, what's the choice to make a TKL for the one based on gaming mainly? No. I think there's a whole story why we went for a TKL version. But the most important thing is, is that the three of us, we generally liked TKL and more compact keyboards more than a numpad version. On the other yeah. hand, we knew that if we wanted to make this a success on Kickstarter, we needed a lot of early adopters and also get some traction within the mechanical gaming community and especially uh, the mechanical uh, keyboard Reddit. And most of those people, they just like the smaller and compact versions. That's why we yeah. went for a TKL version. And yeah. later on, developed a full size version yeah. because, we, yeah. well, what we first didn't realize is how frequent a numpad is being used within gaming. Yeah, I think we underestimated at first. I think when we did like the first, when we did the first pro, yeah, or uh, I don't want to do the full survey, but when we did the, when we decided on like the fact that we were very engaged in the mechanical keyboard community. And there's like, oh, the full size doesn't even exist. And then it was only after we launched the keyboard that we found out like, oh, so many people actually do want a full size. I think we got kind of, kind of the wrong idea about what the what most people's preference for the layout is. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, next uh, question. Okay, hit it. Quasar Dion, I'm so bad with names. What's the quickest way to get a wooding two living close to Arnhem? Wood China. <laughs> take, take an airplane to China. Well, I think the fastest way, if you're in Europe at the moment, is now go to Hamburg, wait a few weeks there, and rob the train. <laughs> what is the train right in Hamburg? I think oh, it's. It, I think it's. I think we're all right, Hamburg. Well, uh, uh, I mean, it's cool that you live close to Arnhem, and the office where I'm yep. situated is in Arnhem, and 
it's some yeah. what we call it the main office but it's far from the main office uh, I don't have any wooding tools here and I probably will not have any wooding tools here so uh, so if you want it pretty fast it's best to order on the website and hope that you live in the US because they will probably get the keyboard sooner than people in the European Union <laughs> yeah, yeah sadly so yeah but well, we'll get to that in a moment uh, uh, Nanocard, where's Kala? Kala will be in the stream later. I think within half an hour we'll call him and add him. And then he is, has set up everything on his side. Uh. Yeah, he will show us around. Okay, mm some more schedule things. Du, 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 du. I think this is a good question. Uh, Warner Vasabi says, Oh, now I checked the new schedule. Why is it always that EU that's going to wait everything longer, even from European guys? Come on, why didn't we get the airship with some old train from Russia? Well. <laughs> We'll get to it. We'll get to it. First, this we'll one. To it? We're, we're, I'm, I'm, we're doing all the shipping thing in in, in one go. After oh, okay. just a few more questions, so, I'm a bit okay. out of the loop. Has Sorry, there been any development we'll on the wrist stress question? Oh, that's a good question. Well, all the development is laying on your room's desk. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, I don't know. Do we want to show it? Uh, well, I, I mean, Maybe it's a bit... you, I mean, you could show it. I mean, it's completely out of context, but okay. it's. Our we, latest prototype. <laughs> we we can show something, but all you guys have to promise us that this is uh, don't tell anybody, okay? <laughs> <laughs> don't tell anybody. <laughs> because this is just don't don't tell Calder. That's the most important thing. <laughs> yeah, we introduce it. You gotta show it. Okay, don't tell Calder. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, you can also see like why how early 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 it is. So. Um, <laughs> this is uh we all promise okay everybody promises it's fine <laughs> okay so this is the prototype we have so we <laughs> bought a wrist rest from a random brand random uh, brand and then we literally stick magnets on the on the back with tape and we Which shaped what it we want. oh yeah and we also cut it a little bit too so it perfectly attaches to the winning keyboard lately let me open my cam so i can actually use the life feed too okay so we also shaped it a little bit to for it to make a perfect fit. So this is my development keyboard, and it's in utter rubbish state. So please don't pay attention to it at all. So the idea is is that okay, here we go. Here we have the top plate, and then at the bottom we also have some magnets, and then it still fits within the casing. And then when you take this thing and you put it close, it sticks. And it's pretty, pretty solid. Hmm. And what we wanted to experiment is like, oh, can we take the existing design and add the magnets? So the magnets are, are stuck on the bottom of this plate and then uh, just sort of easily add, add it to the existing design because we also want to be able to support it for the winning one keyboard. Hmm. And um, this, is, uh, this is kind of our, our prototype, but with making any kind of product like going from this state to something that is actually on your desk can take a, a long time. Well, that's I, why uh, I think the most important part to doing this process was checking out if the magnets will not interfere with an analog signal or the keyboard in general and that's also what kind of strength the magnets should be. So now we know what the strength should be. Now the next step is can we get smaller magnets sure. with the same strength and then the next step yeah. is what kind of material are we going to make the wrist yeah. from? Uh, yeah, that's a that's a very good addition because this this is just the basically the cheapest one we could find because yeah. what we mainly wanted to test like oh can we put magnets here somewhere can we put magnets here a good, good place and can we find something that is a shape that is a nice fit feels comfortable and also like uh, attaches properly because we feel like if you if you don't have the you know i, I feel like the ma magnets are pretty essential because mm -hmm. it it just feels very good to click it on. Yeah. Okay, so that's the secret. Yeah. Now we can go back to... Uh... Uh, we don't have any status when it will come anytime because it was also like on a very uh, uh, low priority at the, the last couple of months for us because we really wanted to make sure the winning 2 went through mass production successfully and with the new utility yeah. coming up and all those little yeah. things. Uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the... Yeah. That's the wrist stress. Don't tell Calder we showed it, you guys. Don't tell Calder we showed you this. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Calder's like, if he watches the stream, he's like, oh, fuck, it's a damn stream. 
I'm gonna fire anyway, this guy. I think what is cool is that um, if somebody is like, oh, uh, it is, it can be some sort of DIY inspiration because if you just get, I mean, you don't want it to look like this, of course, but if you just get a wrist rest and you attach some magnets here, and you can, you're able to, if you get the one stick on it. Uh, I'm Robert Jeroen, I'm super laggy. Beep pop, beep pop. <laughs> Yeah, well, the the wrist rest won't be analog, and I think uh, Jeroen's internet whacked out here. But I think the, the point Jeroen is trying to make is uh, if you make something. Okay. Uh, Let me call you back. Oh no, no, don't don't call me back. It's fine. It's good. Good. Yeah, it's okay. good. Okay, continue. Oh, I hate it that they refresh the stream and I and then I lose everything. Um, yeah, so the only point I wanted to make is that if you decide on. Um, Making something for your own, it's it's pretty easy to do so because you just need magnets here, and you can stick the magnets at the bottom of the of the top plate. You just need to make sure they're strong enough. Uh, we picked around things that can hold about two kilograms. I'm not sure what like what the actual force is, but that's the specification we saw uh, where we uh, got them. Well, right before Christmas, I saw a video about silicon molds and just creating something from silicon with a mold. Uh, that mm -hmm. sort of got me the idea like if I make a uh, mold for a wrist rest, whether it's 3D printing or made from uh, wood or whatever, and just put like the silicon in it. Uh, yeah. Put the magnets within the silicon on the in the correct spot, and then you have a mold, yeah. right? And if you put, if I would, you know, do it correctly, I would have a silicon uh, wrist rest. But yeah. I mean, it's pretty expensive to get like the resins and everything you need and the mixing stuff. Uh, well, it, it, it's not crazy expensive or anything, but it was too expensive just to do for fun, and I didn't have time to do it. But maybe I'll do it in a few, the next couple of weeks when everything's a bit yeah. more quiet. Yeah, I think like when we, when we want to make like an actual wood grade of uh, wrist rust, let's say, then we also want to make sure that it nicely integrates with each other. Like it shouldn't look like this, that's for sure. <laughs> well, you don't even need a really strong magnet, magnet if there's something uh, to grip for. The thing is what we've tested with this cheap thing is that you want to uh, keep the wrist rest sort of attached if you move your keyboard around or if you move your wrist rest around uh, that's pretty yeah. important for me because let's say you're in the heat of the battle and you just want to move your keyboards a little bit and when you push your wrist rest your whole keyboard should turn uh, so that's why we are more keen on stronger magnets than weaker magnets even though we could do it with weaker magnets probably but i think like these magnets are not even I don't know what, like what what people consider as very strong magnets because these are like pretty small still. Hmm. Yeah. But let's get to the most cool of most cool stuff: the uh, delivery update. Yes. Because I think most people got disappointed. I think uh, I think yesterday was a uh, was a very tough day for us because um, we or before the end of the year, uh, no, so before the end of the year, so end of December. We um, tried a very, but we had this sort of ambitious plan to have this sort of running update, and then um, then the the plane would leave then, and the train would leave then, and we'd just sort of keep keep everybody up to date with whatever is happening. But then uh, Christmas arrived, and New Year's arrived, and uh, and then Calder call all of a sudden had to go to uh, to CES, and um, yeah, that was kind of tough because we like we heard like. He, also for us, it's kind of hard to get a very clear image about exactly what's happening, like exactly what point are the keyboards. And then sometimes you get these flashes of, uh, of news here and there, and it's like, oh shit, should we announce it now? Like we're not 100% sure, like, oh, what is the, what is like the new plan going to be? And then um, yesterday we just decided, okay, we need to make a clear post, but like, okay, this is what, like what is actually happening. And, um, well, the, it the yeah. funny thing was, because Jeroen was yesterday here in Arnhem at the office and he said like, oh, we need to make this post and really uh, share it with everyone. And I said like, okay, so what dates will can people expect the keyboard? And it's like, yeah, the 15th of February. I'm like, nah, that's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible yeah. that it, it's, it's like, I was like, nah, it's impossible. It's not, uh, the 15th is totally not reasonable. And then he would say, but yeah, but it would depend on this and this and this and this. And I was like, yeah, but yeah. there must be something that we can move it forward because 
it's another fat month before it's the 15th of February. And well, we looked at the numbers, we crunched them again, and sure, we could say like, hey, they're here, or you can expect them the 31st of January. But then yeah. we need to announce like, hey, we'll take another week, and then hey, we'll take another week. And that's only uh, yeah. getting hopes up. And uh, Yeah, we just yeah. wanted to break free of the cycle. Like every time it's like, oh, like uh, we set a date and then the date passes and then it's like afterwards like oh no 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 it's actually another day <laughs> like that that, ca- that kind of cycle because it's very uh i don't know i think it's bad for it's very bad for us and for the community it, 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 it's bad for us and for the people waiting yeah so um and yeah it could be worse it could be the 31st of february <laughs> <laughs> i guess yeah um, yeah that's true so let's uh Let's go over the update. Let's hopefully this still works. Okay, so let's start with uh, North America. Uh, everybody can expect the keyboard around the 31st of January. It will be in your home or at least in transit to you. Um, the air shipment has landed yesterday or the day before. I'm not sure. Uh, so now uh, it's an exciting time because now the customs need to approve it that these are keyboards and not bombs or whatever people are afraid of in the US. And it's a uh, good and honest product, so to say. Uh, And then they will move uh, from the airport by truck to our uh, warehouse. Uh, And here we're saying like the 15th of January. And if everything goes smooth, it will be the 15th of January. But then you see like, hey, there's like a big gap. It's like, does it really take like 11 days to pack the keyboards in and ship them? No, but probably they take a day or two. But because we're not sure how long it will take with customs, we just added some wiggle room. And we know for a fact that our warehouse, our logistics partner in the US, they also still have to order the boxes where they need to to be shipped in. And that's why we add a little bit more uh, time there. And then, you know, they can go uh, on a, they will pack and send out to you guys uh, somewhere in this uh, region. So this is like a, yeah, a forecast. uh, the end of January. Yeah. yeah. Um, for Europe, it's a bit different. It's like this stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the train that screws everyone over. And going back to the question uh, someone had earlier about why does it take always longer in Europe and uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, even though we are Europeans. Um, the thing is, we fought the train would be a little bit slower than airplane, just a few days or a week. And it's a lot more inexpensive than sending, than sending it through air shipment. So we thought like, hey, let's try this out because it's not so crazy to do and it's better than over the boat. And uh, yeah, uh, but it also sort of backfired because there was a payment that was on hold and that's why we missed one train and the keyboards had to catch the next train and you know, uh, it just takes a while before the keyboards uh, are here in the end, sadly. Uh, and they will be at the warehouse around the 8th of February. Yeah. And here comes the cool part. They won't go to a warehouse. That's also a lie. They will go to uh, one of our homes. And we pack this, these keyboards. We pack them ourselves in the weekend when they arrive. And we also oh, ship yeah, them ourselves. Cool. So yeah. that's why this whole process, we think, uh, goes a lot faster than doing it with an actual uh, yeah, partner. And the reason yeah. why we're doing it ourselves is a little bit uh, complex, but just believe us, it's for the best. Uh, so we're going yeah. to pack every keyboard ourselves for Europe. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think uh, Owen says, oh, moving by train from cool. China, uh, moving by train from China, we'll see the keyword with whole new eyes now. And I think the. The idea of a train from China uh, moving products is pretty new. Like, uh, I think the train track only got in use a few years ago, and we already tried to do it before, but we never. Um, yeah, I, I thought we thought, okay, this is a good opportunity because, in theory, it wouldn't have been much slower than uh, than an airplane. No. But then uh, there were just some some things that, because we've done the airplane before, it was very very smooth now because. We, with shipping, there's always like these sort of documents you need to prepare and then you need to find the right partners. And then, um, yeah, I think with the train, it just didn't go completely as expected. So that's, uh, yeah, that's kind of a bummer for EU. 
But and uh, I think uh, also for us being in the EU ourselves, it's, yeah. uh, it's kind of shameful. <laughs> but I think to be honest, in the future, if this train transport just goes smooth and there aren't any troubles, we'll doing this it. right, yeah. we'll probably keep using it because it's a very good alternative. It's a lot faster than a boat and a lot cheaper than an airplane. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's a very good way. Because we also, uh, yeah, we I think we tried by boat once now, and it was just so slow. Unbelievable. Yeah, it just yeah. It can take up to two months. It's like, oh, two, two, two yeah. I want to see for two months. Yeah. And, well, there was a point where Carla considered doing it by boat. <laughs> I'm glad he did it. <laughs> oh, I know. No. Yeah. I think, um, yeah. Yeah, I think it, uh, Another reason for, for Europe is that in general, um, getting getting and selling goods in Europe is more expensive because of the higher tax. Mm. So it's also that um, for the US, it's also easier to put them on an airplane because um, you have more margin for it anyway. Yeah. Well, for the US, you can't use, put them in a train anyway, but yeah. <laughs> and, and, and there's also like another big difference uh, in the US and Europe. I mean, in the US, if you order something, it could take up to two to four days before it's in, in your house. In the Netherlands, if you order something, most of the time you have the next day in your home. But for the rest of Europe, it's a little bit trickier because you, we would give up, we would give the wooden to to a delivery man here in the Netherlands or like a postal service, and then it goes to your country, let's say Poland, for example, and then another company has to pick it up. So there's also like another communication between those two companies again. And that can be slow and mistakes can be made. So that's why it's also uh, more difficult to ship things in Europe compared to America. And that's why in general things would take longer in Europe than in America. But I think if you would ship the products at the same time from the US and from Europe, uh, yeah. probably the countries around the Netherlands would have them the first and then everybody else in Europe and uh, America will have them around the same time. Yeah. It would be good if you sign every keyboard in your house. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of keyboards for us to sign, man. I think we'll already get uh, pretty tired because of the packing, but... Uh, Do you have really to cool. pay different tax for every different shipping? That's a very interesting question, and... Mm, yes and no, we don't. For the Wooding 2, for example, we just have to pay the Dutch taxes of 21% because we import the products to the Netherlands and then we ship them within the European Union. So we have to pay our taxes to the Dutch government and they will sort it out with Europe or whatever. So it's yeah. 21%. But if we, for example, if we sell some things from Amazon and let's say we have an FBA by Amazon Germany. So the keyboards are in Germany and they're being shipped from Germany. Then we have to pay taxes to the German government. And yeah. the same goes for the UK, for France, for whatever. But because we yeah. store and keep the keywords in the Netherlands, we only have to yeah. pay taxes to the Dutch government. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think also, um, I think only after a certain amount, like after you ship a certain amount to another country within the EU, you would have to uh, pay the taxes there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but it's also just easier to keep in the Holland. Hey, I, I don't know if you missed this one. Uh, Sick ass. No. What? No, no, continue. Oh, maybe you can put this on screen because Vic asked, for those who have packed for switches, will they ship the same time as keyboards earlier or later? Um, the answer to that is that we're not 100% sure yet. If the, um, so the factory right now is uh, waiting for the boxes to put the switches and keycaps in. And we haven't really figured out like why are they still waiting for the boxes, but for some reason they're still waiting for the boxes. It's always kind of hard to get a get a clear idea of exactly what's happening. Uh, but as soon as they get the boxes, they will be on an airplane. They'll be shipped very, very fast. So I think right now we can still expect them to be shipped at the same time as the keyboard, but we'll keep everybody up to date to see how it yeah. progresses. And yesterday morning we had another little bit of bad news. So we're still confident that the switches will ship together with the winning two, but we're not so confident that the keycaps will ship together with the winning two. And I think how it looks now, they will be delayed with at least a 
month so you can expect in the end of february and like we're not sure maybe there's a chance that you will get the keycaps with your wooding too at the same time but i guess the chance is very slim and that's because the keycaps we received at the factory they were from very bad quality and they had like these little you know notches and crannies around them and they weren't like perfect and they had a failure rate of 12 percent that was just way too high for us so they got all shipped back to the keycap manufacturer and said like hey we, we said to them make keycaps good this time yeah i think uh, they were not, yeah. not we saw some pictures and they were not bad but they were just kind of sloppy like there were some um, some um, uh, like marks here and there and what you also sometimes see on keycaps is that uh, they have like these sort of rough edges at the bottom or something like that and uh, that for us is just unacceptable and that's why we uh, had to send the first batch back to the manufacturer yeah sadly yeah. and you know it's uh, it's a little bit difficult communicating with chat sometimes so we're not sure if we'll get the keycaps in next week or the week after but but yeah that kind of yeah. I mean, it can uh, it can move very fast. That's uh, that's for sure. Yeah. And especially like uh, our manufacturer is on it. That's all we know for sure. Okay. Uh, uh, let's continue with the international thing because that's a whole different story. Uh, everybody who isn't in the European Union or within the uh, north. Oh yeah. So we're or... talking about the PPT caps. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. We'll talk about the PPT caps. Um. So if you're living in Asia, Australia, and I think South Africa, uh, the keywords will be sent from China. And they're now being packed within the factory. We're still collecting some final addresses from people. And then they have a full list and they will go into now just being shipped to you directly uh, from the factory. Yeah. It's more convenient for us. and uh, So you can expect it uh, the 31st of January. So I'm guessing the international people will have them the first. I guess if you live in Taiwan or Asia, Australia, you will probably have the winning two, the first. For oh. of the world. Wait, oh, you mean the first of everybody? Yeah. I was like, I was thinking the first of... Uh, I don't know. The, uh, first the first of, of everyone. Now, the first of the world. Like, or the first, sorry, the first of February. And I was like, oh, why, why, how can you be so specific about the first of February, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but the first in the world, yeah. Huh. That's, uh, that, could be, that could be the case, yeah. Uh, well, a lot of questions about shipping. I, it's good, even coming. Oh, uh, mm. I think this one was also very interesting. I don't get why there's always a month, uh, there's almost a month between production and sending. And um, and the reason is just, there, there's just a lot of steps that happen which you don't really see see from the outside. And as, if, you, if you see Calder uploading a vlog from the factory and the way the keyboard's being made, then um, it could be that the production line will still run a little longer and then they still need to do like quality checks and everything and then also like once they're all done then also the picking up the keyboards have to be arranged and then they need to be shipped to well the, the, the uh, thing is it's the whole logistic planning is very difficult because awesome. we didn't know exactly when all the winning two would finish uh, for pickup so you need to arrange the pickup accordingly and another thing is, Color, of course, Color checks like the uh, shipping fees and transport rates for airplane and train like every <laughs> every week. And let's say he wanted to ship the keyboards by the end of December when we expect the keyboards to be finished. Uh, you know, you need to uh, plan everything ahead. You need to uh, schedule everything. But then it turns out maybe the keyboards aren't ready then and we need to postpone it a week. Then you need to contact all your suppliers and forwarders again. And... You need to cancel your current transport and needs to be rearranged. But then all of a sudden they say like, hey, if you want to ship it this week, it's all of a sudden a thousand dollars more expensive. And it's like, hey, why it's more expensive? Because there isn't that much room left. So then it's like, okay, let's look a week after that. Hey, that's $500 cheaper. Okay, let's go for the week after that. And, you know, everything arranging and communicating with all these people and thing, it just takes time. The more people or the more companies and businesses are involved in this process, the longer it just takes. Even though it's as simple as like picking keyboards up, putting them on a boat or airplane, and send them over to wherever you want them to be. Yeah. 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 
you know, and when all keywords go straight from China, I'll say very name five one six, because the, um, it's for your own good. Uh, it's for your no no. <laughs> yeah, it is for your own good because it's the only reason we can do cheaper shipping in. Uh, because if we take all the keywords and we ship them to the U.S. first and we distribute them in the U.S., it's a lot cheaper for the keyword, like a lot, lot cheaper. And if we and the other countries, we would have to send either from the from Europe and or NA anyway. So the shipping was already going to be um, be more expensive. Well, I don't think that that that's not even the biggest thing why we wouldn't ship them directly from China. The Custom. thing is, no, it, yeah, it's 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 all about customs. So let's say we would ship them all from China, that we don't have to pay any uh, taxes or whatever. Uh, but then when it comes within your country, the customs can, uh, you know, take it out and say like, hey, you still have to pay taxes over it because it comes directly from China. And in the Netherlands, they're like, hey, you have to pay 21% taxes, plus here's a fine of like 40 euro administratie cost or whatever. And in the end, uh, the end user, like some people will be lucky and they don't pay the extra taxes so they can get a fairly cheap keyword. But other people are just unlucky and have to pay the taxes and sometimes even a fine on top of it. Yes. And we produce more winning tools than actually were pre-ordered or we're back to doing the Kickstarter. And we need to store these anyway in the Netherlands and in the US, the stock that we have left. Uh, so we need to ship keyboards from China to a warehouse anyway. So that's why we bring all the keyboards within America and Europe. And then you guys within North America and Europe don't have to pay any import taxes or secret costs. I guess that's true. the biggest reason why we... That's also uh, true. Yeah. Yeah. But the, but the shipping costs from China are actually cheaper than bringing it to the to Europe by boat and then sending it to somewhere. Because sending yeah. stuff from China is like... That, that's, pss, pss, pss. Even, even directly? Yeah. Oh. Carl and I, we looked into it once, uh, yeah. doing winning one. Uh, but yeah, the whole uh, surprise with import taxes is kind of nasty for end users. Yeah. Uh, I see there was a question from speedhip 2k15 and he says uh are pbt kickups still going to come in nordic set uh because i ordered them hoping they would still be nordic and would be pretty annoyed if i wasted 30 euros on them i think you should send us an email <laughs> I, i'm not really sure if, if we ever said anything about having pbt kickups in nordic uh language Did we no, no, um, no, the 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 keycaps are US keycaps, US ANSI, but there are a few extra keycaps to make them compatible with ISO keyboards, so the enter and the left shift. But you will have American characters on the keycaps, and yeah. we don't offer Nordic language for the PPT keycaps. Yeah. So, uh, uh, just to be 100% clear, this is the extra set we're talking about, not yeah. what will be on your keyboard itself. This no. is just the extra set. Because the keyboard does come in the Nordic language, but if you. Yes purchase the extra PBT keycaps, those will be in the US language. Uh, and if, yeah, if you're now disappointed, send us an email and we can give you a refund and cancel your PBT keycaps if you don't like them. Yes. Jeroen can do that. Pirko, Jeroen is the nice guy. <laughs> Just do it before Calder is back. <laughs> before. What? You refund? No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you why I don't need a refund. <laughs> Carl isn't such a bad guy. Yeah. But yes, that's the whole uh, uh, shipping thing. And for us, we would like to see it more uh, simple and shorter, but this is just reality and we can lie about it and postpone it and keep postponing it, but it won't change a thing. And I think you wouldn't froze in time. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back in a second. Okay. Wait, am I still frozen? No, uh, not anymore. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I think I froze again. No? No. So, what's next up, Kirun? Okay, the answer is life. That's true. I think we promised uh, Carl to Adam uh, right about now, right? Yeah, I think... Uh, uh, do we I still want to... Do, call, call do we still want to show the Razor thing? Talk about it? I think we can do it later after the call, maybe. 
well, but Carl is gonna talk for at least half an hour straight, so. Yeah, that's true, but it's it's something we can do later too. Okay. 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 okay let's let's add Carl to the whole conversation. Uh, boop. Let's see how this goes. Okay, when color picks up, the whole screens should be rearranged and correct. Now you're going to some sort of in the limbo. I have a stream now, sorry. They did, so. Hey, color. Hey. Don't forget to turn on your camera. You haven't started yet, right? Well, we have. We started your your life. Your life. In front of 60 lying? people. Hey. They can't see you. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't worry. So now everybody behind, everybody behind <laughs> my phone is waiting now because they think I'm filming them. Which <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> is not the case, yeah, yeah. Though, obviously. The boss, the boss so, is falling. Yeah, yeah. I thought you would call me in like 10 minutes or so. Uh, uh, so hang on, let me let me get ready. Yeah. Surprise! Surprise! I can't see any questions or anything. Hey, greasy marketing boy. We'll just read the chat for you. Don't worry. People recognize okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you have to dance. So, well, no. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um. Alright, so what's up? What's the plan? Wait, wait, wait. I just have to pick out this comment from Yusuf. Uh, first was yeah, a bit I... like, oh, I'll have to wait for eight months to have my keyboard. But now I have been part of a marvelous uh, adventure. And, well. Yes. Thanks for being part of it. Uh, hope you enjoyed yeah, it so far. And, uh, it's also an adventure for us, right? With, uh, yeah, it's true. I think it's also like with the uh, streams and uh, that's also what we want to achieve with the streams and uh, with the videos we make about the factory. It's also like, hey, you bought this product, but it's actually like you can just see everything from it and join it all the way, like join the whole journey. In the end, you will get an amazing product, but you can also join in and live our ups and downs. Uh, for example. <laughs> it took so long I had to buy a keyboard while waiting for the wooding. <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh, you know, I remember with the Woody one, we had the same thing, uh, but that Woody one was a lot more extreme. Uh, yeah. That was that was that was a heck of a journey to have. Uh, yeah, but that think, was also. Uh, yeah, that was also. Hard. Yeah, uh, but and, and if you look at the well, let me first say is that uh, there was also some people buying keyboards in the meanwhile. <laughs> Because the fact is, most of the time you buy a new, if you buy a new keyboard, most of the time your old keyboard just filled or something is wrong with it or something, yeah, is defect on it. So then you, you decide, let's buy a new one. And then if you need to wait so long on your new one, uh, that's a real, real, real issue. But that's why we have the cheap Amazon keyboards, right? They they last for six months anyway before they start failing. Yeah, that's so. true. <laughs> Will we get called a t-shirt as wooting merchandise? No. Which one are you wearing? Even have, you haven't even seen my t-shirt yet. Right? I have the... Time to take control. Yes. And then with the the big logo on the back. Let me do it this way. Ah, go. nice. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. Yeah, I do wonder, like, why why did we never really offer this a merch? Because we we made it, I think, for Computex, Computex two, two years, years ago. ago. Yes. It's kind of like our employee uh, t-shirts. <laughs> this That's is Rooting Crew t-shirts. Rooting yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crew t-shirt. <laughs> Oh, next time we should put crew on the t-shirt. <laughs> but everything is buyable, so just wire over a hundred bucks and we'll get you a few t-shirts. <laughs> you can get any t-shirt for a hundred bucks. <laughs> but Carl, how is so, CS? Uh, um, pretty good. I mean, the experience is totally different from Computex because they're in a hotel suite, like literally in a hotel suite. So, Michelle, this is the... Oh, what's the hotel again? Uh, the Mirage, the name of the hotel. And uh, we're on the suite level, so there's a lot of hotel rooms here with uh, different showcasings. See, there's another one that thought the camera was on the other side. They're actually looking towards me. No, they're looking at me here, so here we are. <laughs> and now I need to tell them the live stream, so. <laughs> 
Well, I, I'm obligated now also to tell you uh, there's video footage uh, recorded of you okay. on a live stream. I know, I know. People are watching. Uh, do, you, do you consent? Yes. Okay, you consent. We're okay. GDPR safe, guys. <laughs> GDPR safe. Uh, so, so uh, no, so there's like. According to here. German law? What does it say? Yeah. Well, okay. Here we go. Uh, let me turn this one around. Yeah. I, I, uh, I mean, if I ask you a question, it's going to be like 10 seconds before I can see it anyway. So. Oh, so if you phone me right. entering the suite, you could set boss participant photo and or oh, video footage. Interesting. According to German law, that's so specific. <laughs> Only in Germany. <laughs> in Germany, they're more anal about this stuff, so apparently. Uh, Germans, huh? But it's a uh, it's it's a strange situation, right? <laughs> well, it's logical because it's of course it's not a public place, a hotel. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but the other side, the whole reason uh, of this setup and the whole event is for this specific thing. So, but okay. Uh, so I'm in the suite with uh, Alpha Cool. So this is the Alpha Cool suite. Okay. So so let's go in. You can see that it's uh, very, uh, very German. <laughs> but no, well, <laughs> there's a, uh, it's literally a sweet hotel, uh, like a sweet room, sorry. Uh, so you just have people here everywhere talking. Want everywhere to see the view? Stuff. Well, <laughs> wait, let me turn this around. Say, so, okay, there we go. So usually, what is, I, why are they showcasing in a hotel room is the first question, right? And why is there just a bunch of people and barely any product, right? Well, let me answer those two questions. <laughs> Number one is, uh, it makes it a lot easier for reviewers and content creators to just walk here, have a private talk, not too loud, make the recordings they need to make, and uh, get the information they need and be done. Right? So they can come by appointment, they can just jump in, but it's much easier to get all the work done. Sec is someone second sleeping there? Uh, Calder. In the hotel room itself? <laughs> Calder, it's called this room. <laughs> No, 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 <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nice sleep in the bathroom. <laughs> What's up on the PC, please? That's somebody. What's up with the what? With the what? What's Close. up on the PC? Uh, nice sweet. Well, I'll show the PCs in a second. Uh, it's okay. So the second thing is. Um, uh, all, a lot of the products got stuck at customs and uh, they weren't able to get everything they wanted. So, all of the, like some of our keyboards, but a lot of the Alpha Cool stuff is all on the pallet, uh, which uh, like yesterday came through and then, but it's not just not worth installing everything anymore because it's already the last day today. Um, so, that kind of sucks. So there's uh, very few things to showcase, but of course, you have Wiki keyboards. So, uh, here. Maybe this is something you said. This so is the RGB. We defend a PC close, close up tour. That's true. Yeah. So here we have. Hey, people in this place. Hey, man, what's up? Okay. So here is a PC that's uh, that's running a uh, rooting keyboard. That's an interesting color palette on the rooting one. Yeah, I've been showing how how RGB works in the software. So there we go. Um, so then they have another build over here, which is tempered glass. And I think I can open this like a door because yes, you want to open your PC, of course, like this. Oh, the can you water cool the keyboard? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you can. Why not? Just there's yeah. no sense. <laughs> So I think this one is not really fully turned on because usually the whole thing glows and I don't know what's, what's going on here now. So, and then we have another one, which is the not so RGB version Ooh. here. This one is pretty sexy. So, yes. I also really like this one. So you can see it's like a every one of us will get one, right? You will get one, uh, I will get one and you will get one of these. Uh, yeah, of course, you know, you have okay. a couple thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is the last one. Oh, this one is really cool. Uh, so this is pretty, uh, 
it, it reminds me of like a like the Ace of Predator cases, you know, the yeah, way yeah. to overkill. Yeah, but, yeah. But I like the design how it floats in the whole case. That's true. Yeah, but it's one hell of a thing to have in the room. Uh, yeah. But this is really like the, you're getting too modern. Uh, this is modern level, so they really, you know, you get some really unique cases out of it. I think we just had everything. There is one more thing. No, the view. Yeah, which is we did sort of view. No, I'll, I'll show the view. Is this? So I don't know too much about all the different water coolers here because I'm not like I'm not a PC modder or builder. So, uh, but this is a water cooler basically. It's a how do you call that? A water cooler. Uh, like, yeah, but in the shape of like orb, an orb. There's a different word for it, but I'm I'm running on late sleep, so I forgot. Uh, Somebody so, says, yeah. "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You guys got that one? Not even out yet." Uh, 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 is he referring to the plastic ball? The spherical. Oh, so Manson, expert, is coming in here. Manson says it's a spherical reservoir. <laughs> so spherical, that's it. So this is the view, Ah, eh? oh, that's another view! Oh, what a view! That's amazing. <laughs> <It's locked>. Beautiful. <laughs> Let me see if I can find another window. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Oh, here we go. I cheated a bit. One of my colleagues is at CES. Oh, no, oh. shit. Same issue. Why is there but fences can kind of see it, though? Yeah, no, I think it's the sun, shade, oh, something. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I can get it up, so. No, don't, yeah. don't bother. Anyway. CTB says it's called the Alpha Cool Ice Ball, if I'm not mistaken. Call it? All right. I ice Ball. Ice Ball. Ice Ice Ball. Because yeah. it's called an ice bath because it's, it's a uh, spherical uh, water cooler. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes, the ice ball is, oh, it's a combined pump and reservoir. Hmm. All right, okay, maths and experts, take a look. I, I, okay, I me. Mean, is it oh. this one? I think everybody was freaking out about this one. You heard it here first, Calder. Calder isn't sure he can get it up. For Quinn. What? For Quinn? <laughs> okay. So maybe Matt, can also share more about this. Twick uh, wants uh, to be the the reservoir. So maybe we can do a giveaway on the stream. No. <laughs> Take it, Carlo. Run. It's not ours, so I, I would if we could. Oh shit! I dropped my phone. It all ended all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what am I showing you? That's that's it. But no, that's the whole thing. Besides that, <laughs> you can display wooden. Once I'm winning two there to uh, some press people. Have you uh, actually yes. been to CES or seen other stuff besides your hotel room? Or that uh, hotel room? <laughs> I was at the convention center yesterday and uh, I popped by Kaihua, some general keyboard makers, uh, saw the people from Impet Club, uh, saw the Jesse from Keyboardio, which uh, if you don't, if you haven't seen, has an amazing. Wait, Carla, I'm going go to interrupt you longer. one minute because this is the question that comes back up again. Uh, when will okay. the clicky blues wooting tools will be back in stock? Well, if you cannot Ooh. order them now, we are not sure, but it will take a few months before they will be available again. And yeah. you can really count on late April, May. So if they're now out of stock, it's just like too bad sandwich bread. You have to wait until yeah. April, May. Yeah, and the ma main reason is because of Chinese New Year. That will just shut down basically everything for at least a few weeks. Mm. And this maybe, yeah, yeah, it most depends on Chinese New Year. Now we can plan another. Yeah, and people production. are really crazy about the, about the pump. The pump is like spherical one or yeah, yeah, yeah. the big one. Oh, so, uh, Vance is pretty sure I saw these tubes that have quick connect bits that kind of click together with open flows. They close off. They close off when loose. Then speed up. No, you're out. talking about the the big one, the big the big pumps, the the big reservoir. Reservoir. Let's go say hi to Dave. Uh, Dave uh, uh, is not here right now, actually. Otherwise, I would have had his face on here straight away. He's a funny guy. So <laughs> too too bad sandwich bread. <laughs> spread, not bread. Spread. It's English for the Dutch spreekwoord helaas pindakaas. Helaas pindakaas. That's like too bad peanut butter. 
Diba? <laughs> diba? <laughs> um, no, but I think, I mean, l- l- again, I, I don't really understand the Alpha Cool products that well. Uh, if Dave was here, I would have get, let him give an introduction, but he's not. Um, but uh, from what I was able to catch from a lot of people that came by is that they really went, uh, well, let's say they went crazy over the reservoir. <laughs> was of Wall. Why is it? <laughs> why is that so <laughs> special? The the spherical reservoir. Yeah, no, it's not the spherical one. It's the, the big ones next to it. It's the really big ass one next to it. What's so uh, special about the big ass one next to it? What is so special about it? This one. Who, who can actually? Who can? Who can, Mara, can you explain more about this? Joe. Sorry. Joe. 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 Or Dave. Yeah, Dave is gone. Okay, I'll ask Joe in a, in a minute when he's done. So later we'll ask us for it and he can do an introduction, okay? It's a big ass one. Thick. Or Manson knows it. Oh, Manson says it's thick. Ah, okay. <laughs> Everybody, <there's, laughs> that's always special. Some people, some thick. people are going bananas about it, so. Uh, I think, yeah. Uh, that's a radiator, right? For the water cooling? The, probably. Is this thing you're going bananas to run? Ma- I'm still not Manson, sure. Is it, Manson, uh, is it about this one? Is it this one? Is it that one? The big one? This one? Yeah, Eating there's one? also the screen today, so I'll... Manson, Manson just faded, I guess. Yeah, oh. I'm all radiated. Yeah. No, I think it's the the pump and reservoir kind of thing. Yeah. Wait, we're getting the explanation here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now you're okay, in. Okay, <laughs> listening. Bro. <laughs> now I have no more tricks. Okay. Okay. Let me let me take this off. Oh. oh. Okay, he's out. He's out. Well, that's it, guys. Had a fun live stream. Oh, he's Wait. back. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now I'm on speaking everything. So, so, so you want go. to know more about this product or in general? about the radiator the thick one the thick one the thick one okay it's the same um the size of the radiator depends on the uh, parts you want to cool in your system usually we use the 120 radiator for one cpu for example if you have uh, more parts like a graphic card or two graphic cards in your system you must increase the cooling performance um, by the radiator so and that's the reason why we have a huge range of radiators in our um, yeah, portfolio. So this one, for example, is a new one we use in uh, the offer for uh, server cooling. Um, it fits perfect in a one unit server. Um, in addition, we can plug the uh, pump here on the uh, in and outlet, uh, including a, a reservoir with a mini reservoir on it. So it's very efficient. Yeah, it is. It is. Hmm. Does anybody have questions about it? Uh, I'm waiting. Uh, everybody for just answer. says thick. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, thick. <laughs> that's a, a one year rat. That's amazing. People are amazed. Yeah. See, I think that still you know that the three of us are have no clue about Experience this. Experience with cooling. <laughs> <laughs> You can pa- oh wait, this is important. So the Mansa says you can pass along, please. Thanks for making awesome radiators. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Would a 360 rat be enough two-way crossfire overclock? A 360 radiator. 35 millimeters. Yes. Yeah. It will be enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anybody what diameter else? fans are used on a rat like that? What type of fans are used with what a diameter rat? Fans? Uh, diameter. We, uh, diameter. we prefer to use the Be Quiet fans. <laughs> Sorry. What about he, oh, he's, diameter? Plugging, he's plugging another brand. Uh, <laughs> what's this? Oh. <laughs> but, uh, and what, how about the diameter of the fans? Um, uh, this one is a 140 millimeter fan. And the um, common yeah, usual size is a 120 millimeter. So 120, 240, 360. Yeah. So I suppose this rad needs a push-pull config for efficient working. Um, not. 
it's not necessary. You can increase the performance a little bit, but it's not so um, important to use the push-pull function. Okay. Well, we have uh, some pretty nice people in the chat. This, uh, this is pretty cool. Philip says, great, thanks for me. So somebody in our chat says, great, thanks for making great products. Can't wait to finish my two-way Vega 64 setup then. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good, I think. That was it. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Channel, channel it. It's on Twitch. On Twitch right? Yeah, yeah. We, uh, everybody from our community, mm -hmm. uh, we do live stream every two weeks. Mm -hmm. So every two weeks, we, we just talk with our community and mm -hmm. show what, what the progress is. And you just, I, hope that was a bit I don't know how many people are watching now. 50. Uh, 48. 48 now? Okay. Oh, yeah. so, so famous. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> What did he say? Oh my god. Not so famous. No, it's, it's not yeah, so it's not, famous. It's not, it's not that kind oh. of big, but you should realize this, okay? Uh, a lot of Twitch streamers are, are crying from happiness if they have one to four viewers. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, a year ago we had like 20, and these 20 ago, people yeah. grew. So, yeah. if it doubles every year, I mean, within a year or 10, it's like millions. Kind of we're it's we're millions. gonna pass like, it down <laughs> 12 years. <laughs> okay, so, so <laughs> we'll be a big ass streamer in, in what? How many years? Twelve. <laughs> Twelve years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Quality over quantity, we're, guys. We're, we're, we're growing. It's for fans. Twice, yeah. and Every for year it's at least work. double, so you know the multiplier effect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so next year, two hundred. Next year, two hundred. Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay, can we do 200 next year? Sure. Please. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to make some uh, keyboard support. So you're going <laughs> to add your numbers. Oh, okay, now the alpha cool is involved, it's going to get better. <laughs> <laughs> because if you don't reach 200 by the end of 2019, alpha cool won't talk, come back in our videos again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're not famous enough for them then. <laughs> no, but it's pretty cool. Uh, it's uh, yeah. I, I really don't have an clue how it all works with water cooling and cooling the system and actually modding a whole PC because when I buy a PC you know I just buy like all the parts and I can put them in each other and that's it and it's like oh it works nice I have a PC model. <laughs> yeah, says, this... If the Woody 3 is water cooled this stream will hit 1 million viewers. <laughs> <laughs> well maybe we should try to do a mod where we uh, use alpha cool cooling on the on the Wooten keyboard and uh, just for fun. Just to make it look uh, amazing. Ah, I can see it. Winning free, the coolest key keyboard in the world. Oh, hey, coolest keyboard imagine in the having world. a fan and the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> we just make we just make RGB so bright that you need the cooling to cool down everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, I'm on the same side. But this is really. I mean, this is more next level kind of uh, builds where, you know, if <laughs> as soon as you, just, in my opinion, if you start talking about water cooling, you need this type of cooling, that means also that you really know how to overclock and uh, really get the most out of your components. So, and this is really about the modding and aesthetics at one point mm. also. So, yeah. Hey, mod is a whole different field. Yeah. That's a big, big guys. Yeah. Yeah, I think judging from uh, people's reaction on the chat, like, uh, I have a good reputation. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I haven't been. I'm just Alpha Cool. We know them a couple of years back and forth, but uh, now being at this suite and having uh, a lot of the media come by and just hearing uh, people talk in general, even though I don't really understand what all the all the parts do, uh, I did get the impression uh, that they did some amazing stuff over the last couple of years that everybody is very happy about so yeah i think well if you uh if, if you your brand that manson is happy about then i think you you're probably a good brand <laughs> <laughs> right if manson is happy about it <laughs> must be the best brand in the world that, <laughs> what you like <laughs> i think it kind of came the, out wrong <laughs> the indirect compliment there <laughs> it was meant in, in a way as, as um is if if a real enthusiast like that likes uh, really likes the stuff you're doing, then you have a good brand. But if Manson likes it, <laughs> everybody must like it. <laughs> no, but Manson is the expert, so uh, so it is true. It is true. Yeah. Yeah. 
You can say, so can we also have... Uh, keyboards, Manson. No. <laughs> <laughs> Warmer hands after a gaming session. Both finger pops need a solution. Yeah, it should have like at the front bezel, have like little fans there blowing on your hands. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it would make a really funny mod. Yeah. Greatest companies for water cooling, if not the greatest. So. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now you're really raising the bar, also from my perspective. <laughs> uh, this is like the the top, top notch. Ah. Uh, and we expected Kala to be nagging all the time. Hey, the water cooler. I don't get it because fans are amazing and blah blah blah. <laughs> no, I have no, I have no gears to grind about this because it's totally not my field. So, uh, yeah, yeah, my 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 <laughs> the cooling in my system uh, is uh, very simple fan, in wherever the case needs the fan, and that's that's about it. So, yeah. Uh, Booting wrist rest with a fan. Shh. Okay. Well, that would be funny, though. <laughs> hey, 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 Twitch said I thought we made a deal about this. We made a deal about it. Yeah. But. So, <laughs> today is the last day, Calderon. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, what grind your gears at CES, uh, Calder asked Nano <laughs> 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 Well, I can, I can, I can tell you something. What grinds my gears from a business perspective, or for like a manufacturing perspective, so not necessarily product perspective. I think not necessarily uh, grinds your gears. And what are you frustrated about? But more like, oh, uh, what's interesting? Scala needs to rant for two minutes. That's what everybody wants yeah, to hear. No, <laughs> well, no, 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 no ranting allowed. This is a no rant. No, no, no. No, it's just what, what when I walk around CS, I just. Did see you the find any good scroll wheels yet, <laughs> <laughs> I, in fact, I did not. But I did find a company that made a prototype where you could adjust the scroll resistance with a small uh, switch on the bottom. So that was interesting, but it didn't feel good at all. But it's just a concept. So. Um, no, but uh, honestly, when uh, when walking around CES and then the, this typical thing where you see a lot of Chinese manufacturers, they they display their you know keyboards and they have their own brand, and uh, they all they all you know older models like are very similar to each other. You can see they all copy copy the same same models, and it's always the same story. You know, they for the whatever brand they have, they use one of the animal logos, um, and, and they probably most likely have like an eSport name in it. You know. And it just really shows you how disconnected they are with uh, with the actual market. Um, and then I can't speak for the local market because that's such a different. They love all the RGB stuff. They love all the, the flashy bling bling things uh, more than uh, we we do. Uh, but you know, you see all that kind of typical stuff still, uh, which is always a little bit yeah. Uh, but there were also a couple that actually uh, 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 showed some more interesting products as a Chinese manufacturer. Um, like a full aluminum casing and keyboard with a steel plate and everything, and uh, which is uh, really freaking heavy. But uh, at least they they made something like this uh, before, and that was for like a Korean customer then. But uh, they were showcasing it, and I don't think if they sold it with their own brand, I don't remember. But at least they did get more experience about making different types of keyboards, which is uh, which is cool to see. Yeah, and uh, and then I had uh, one conversation with a. Uh, with a Chinese brand, uh, sales representative, that you know, this was like your your typical, most typical manufacturer. Okay, um, they have the the whole like stupid, got the name again, but they have their stupid whatever name, esport gaming something. They had the flashy light stuff. They had the logo, and then they had keyboards. I wish I, oh, I should have made a picture of this. They had a keyboard that was so over had like handlebars on all the sides that were <laughs> lit up with LED and everything and it's like blew my mind how over it was but uh, I was talking to the sales representative and uh, I just wanted to listen to her and see what her take on the market is okay and uh, it was actually not bad uh, but it was very interesting how she uh, how she described it okay so she said there is um, uh, there's the real gamer and there's a the fake gamer okay the real gamer 
is basically the people that you know they they don't like the flashy archbista and the bling blings and uh, they just uh, really want uh, more function in the keyboard. And the fake gamer, they're more budget. They want uh, you know the all the bling blings and uh, look cool. You know uh, that's how she would say has to look cool. Uh, cheaper price and uh you know lots of rgb that works really well okay and i thought oh that's actually not a bad uh, description so i asked a little bit further so what do you think the age group is and she's like well a fake game i old i asked her so how old are the fake gamers and she's like yeah from uh, fake gamers are like uh, from eight till 16 years old um and then real gamers i didn't ask specifically real gamers then but real gamers should not supposed to be above that age um uh, so that was a very uh, funny conversation, and uh, and uh, she was offering me like you know I can sell their whatever brand they had another brand, uh, which is a brand they have already on stock, uh, which you can buy for very very low quantity like like five pieces or something to sell in your own market. Um, and it was uh, and literally they have a thing like you know a, a headset that you buy can buy for five dollars. Uh, and uh, to sell headsets are actually very cheap in cost, but uh, this is an extremely cheap one. So for five dollars, you could buy a headset to sell. And I was looking on Amazon Germany um, if somebody was already selling it uh, to get an idea what they would sell as end price. And uh, there was only one. Like there was, it wasn't really available in the, on Amazon or in the Western market at all. And I could just only find that one headset, and it was uh, twelve euro fifty. Uh, <laughs> So um, then, and then the other brand they were showcasing is the more the uh, the brand that I guess you would purchase a, a, a greater quantities um, that they don't necessarily have on stock straight away. I'm not sure about that. I didn't ask about that, but um, just to give you an idea, I also checked and I also asked them. So, for who do you usually also manufacture things? And uh, they also manufacture their the, their stuff for uh, trust. <laughs> <laughs> of course. That's like the. Of course. <laughs> if there's like a Dutch gaming brand in the news, whatever, it's like, oh, trust the biggest Dutch gaming brand of the. Oh, oh. Trust makes the worst stuff possible. Unbelievable. So, yeah. So. Oh, I know. I remember. So I was talking. I was asking also about. I was telling her. So oh, yeah. oh, okay. So. Actually, for the fake gamer products, it's all about uh, just uh, moving a lot of quantities with them. Uh, and, uh, and then, uh, yeah, she said, yeah. So for fake gamers, uh, it's very, it's very cheap. All the products are very cheap. Right? She also said the products are cheap, you know. Um, but uh, it can move a, a lot of quantities, and uh, you know, it, uh, you just have to show all the bling blings. Um, yeah. And then, uh, but then for like more high end, though for the real gamers, you know, we'll move less quantities. And I was like, well, so moving the low quantities must be really great. For, or moving the, the product for fake gamers must be really be great for the factory then, right? And yeah, because the factory can keep uh, keep running, you know, uh, that's more important. They can keep producing, 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 because if it doesn't produce for a day, that's lost money in general. So you'd rather produce at even cost yeah. or, and the or quality, lose money. Uh, the quality checks are not as strict, I assume. Well, well, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I I'm, I'm, I'm going to interrupt here. Like uh, uh, Super Mouse Cook saying, "The strength trust and stream, well, trust isn't that bad." And I think trust isn't a bad brand for the price you pay it for. But it's just like. Oh, sorry. It's just low quality yeah. stuff that works and for the price you pay for it, it's good. But I wouldn't recommend the product to my friends, so to say. But if you're on a budget, I mean, Trust is a good brand to go to, I guess. I know I would, I would just still say, uh, if you buy one of their products at the budget, at the price that you're buying it at, then that's also what you can expect for longevity and performance in general. Exactly. But which is there. <laughs> the, the trust gaming mouse pad is pretty good though. Oh yeah, but no, mouse pads? <laughs> no, no, no! Don't start a caller ad. Stop! Oh, stop! Stop! Mouse stop, stop! 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 <laughs> caller, have you seen the internet connected toilet or a no. sofa with building YouTube? No. Have you ever? Have no, you even no. been to CES? <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I have because I saw something much more important. I saw the foldable screen on display. Oh, that's, oh, that's... They, uh, integrated into a wom women women's bag. They had a uh, t-shirt screen they could almost roll up. They had a, a smartphone with a screen that you could uh, fold all the way. So uh, I think that was one of the highlights when it came when it came to screens. Um, but I didn't see all the other bullshit things. I did go, uh, I did pass by this like startup area. Um, and uh, you could just I see. Heard, I heard there was a price winning dildo. Did you see a price winning dildo? But I got no, like. No, I didn't. It, 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 oh, I wish I would know that one. It was cancelled, right? I, I mean, they didn't get the price in the <laughs> end because it was too. Really? It, it wasn't according to, I don't know, whatever regulations from CES. Stupid prude Americans, man. As soon as there's anything related to sex, people freak out. Yeah. I mean, the idea is pretty cool because it was a vibrator, something you could. You know, an IoT thing, vibrator thing, it's pretty cool. Uh, if I was a woman, IoT I would have. Vibrated? If I was a woman, I would have bought it. It's big business, you know? Yeah, yeah it seems it's so. vibrate. It's, it's really crazy. I, uh, uh, there is one time I was looking with uh, some uh, Chinese dude on uh, JD because we were talking about uh, things that were selling on JD. And uh, JD also has this kind of like Kickstarter platform. And we were just looking at, you know, what kind of, uh, what kind of projects are you running on? Right? And I swear to you, on the first page, there are already three sexual, sexual related uh, items. And the next page was another. And every page would have at least one sexual related item. And uh, it's all themed the same way. It's either a, a dildo in a certain shape, uh, which can connect with an app, or it was, uh, you know, the reverse dildo, where we had the flashlight thing that was uh, done in a new way. And, uh, <laughs> and they, were, they were raising with, uh, the money, you know? With a foldable animal girl screen. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Teledildonics. Uh, is that the actual word? What does that mean? No. I see what like Alexa, turn up my dildo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again? Are you sure? <laughs> so uh, I wish I had more. Well, I, I say I wish I could go to the convention area now, but I don't. I don't really. I didn't really have more time to walk around. And today I'm planning to spend the day here to make sure that I catch any last moment things. And uh, and then uh, CS is over, basically. Yeah. Then it's back to Taiwan again. Yes. No more tipping. Yeah, when are you flying back? Not paying like. Five bucks for a cappuccino, a cap, a cap, a cap. At Starbucks, a cap. Also, watching a stream about keyboards, end up watching three men talking about lip dildo. <laughs> uh, <just> <laughs> hey, uh. so um, I'm flying back on uh, on Sunday. I'm flying back. Okay. And then uh, I'll, I'll fly. I'm, I'm like 16 hours. I'll, you know, change time zone 16 hours difference. So. Don't touch that leg. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think I, go. yesterday I got past my jet lag. Like I slept like baby, like a baby yesterday. And today I could also notice that jet lag is not the issue anymore. Um, but uh, <laughs> Monday, it's uh, game time again. I think it takes me like three to four days, apparently. Yeah. Carla, would you recommend uh, the CES for us normal people? That's a good question. I wonder about that too. That is a good question. It depends what your angle is. If you just want to walk around and see interesting stuff, I think it's definitely worth uh, going to CES. Um, and just uh, check out Wait. check out things because there's a lot there like there's so much uh, being displayed. You just there's like, if you're interested at all in this in this field, then uh, yeah, also as end user, just seeing all that stuff, uh, it's really really fun. Yeah. So yeah, in general, yeah, I would recommend those. Uh, what I don't recommend is uh, taking the car or anything. You have to you, should, you can better walk everything, like, literally walk everything. Uh, the the whole, whole how the whole CS is laid out here in Vegas is also crazy. There's apparently I, I've been I've been learning the local language. There's the Strip here. The Strip is basically like the main street where all the have you hotels have you never are. played uh, New Vegas? I mean, you should know it's like the Strip. But... 
Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know everything about it. The strips. <laughs> the strip. Uh, no, but anyway, all the hotels, all the hotel and casinos are in are in the road, uh, or the big ones at least. And then, uh, and then there's always like at the end of the strip, you know, and uh, that kind of language. And then next to next to the strip, there's the convention area. But if you take a car, you know, it can, it can cost you a lot of money during this time, and it will take you a long time before the. Uh, if you take your own car to get through traffic, and otherwise, if you're waiting for Uber, you wait ages for the Uber itself. Um, you might as well walk it, so you can like walk to different locations within a fairly okay time, unless it's like on the other side of the strip. Um, so yeah, but it's a very spread out because every hotel has has like either suites displaying stuff, and uh, there's. Uh, yeah, no, a lot of hotels have all these suites displaying things, so uh, there's a lot to uh, to see if you if you go around. Shit, makes me think I still wanted to visit a suite that was around here. Um, so yeah, you know, it uh, it's really hectic though. <laughs> Awkward, three grown man. Oh, you know about the strip? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> So well, have you um, have you actually been in a casino or? Dude, uh, you just walk around. You want to get out of your hotel, you walk through casino. It's like casinos is like part of the scenery. But Jeroen, man, no how line. much Kickstarter money did you spend? <laughs> That's not the question. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> so, so is this why this why you put keyboards on the train? <laughs> <laughs> It's not on the train, I fucking lied. <laughs> you just never been gambling on your paycheck. All woody tooth yeah, yeah. in black. <laughs> the vlog like was like <laughs> in some hotel suite in Las Vegas. <laughs> no, 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 that was just uh, whatever material I saw from the trial production. Uh, and now uh, I gambled it all away and, uh, and spent it on cocaine and strip bars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I yeah. think we should no, but... round stream up slowly. Yeah, I think we've been off topic for the last half hour and hour hmm. already. So we had like strip bars, the strip, dildos, flashlights, Alexa, dogs. We've seen it all. Uh... We've seen everything. Can I? Uh, I'm gonna just gonna do a small plug here. Is uh. Are you guys running on the utility beta? Me? Because if you're not running on the utility beta, then uh, go to the Discord. Go go to Discord. Go to beta channel. Download the utility beta because uh, you have to help us test the amazing new DKS of which the design Wait, is not final. Before you go, I don't think you can update the beta firmware now. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> What's this, you This is so bad. <laughs> so, um, because of the, the whole, like, um, because of the double input thing, so I, I released a new firmware version, uh, I think on Monday. I just didn't specifically launch it. I just sort of felt like, oh, I'll just sort of see what uh, what people will say, like, uh, if it... If, if an issue comes up, then they can update and they can sort of see if it fixes. But then later I realized, like, oh, wait, it's the same version as the beta version. So if you... Um, yeah, I, I need to look into it. So. Okay. Basically, that's the short version. Okay, oops. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> that's not good. But you're going to fix it over the so, weekend. You're going to code card. I'll fix it over the weekend. Okay, so so on Monday, uh, that, me, go to the Discord beta. Let me do something right now. Let me do something right now, and uh, we can make a, it. It's filming me, so don't worry. <laughs> um, I just need a mouse. Okay, last thing from Colin. That one's okay. Before we lose all viewers. It's so like connected uh, yeah, with this Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, are you able to use this one or? Caller, uh, but these are dongles. You know, and then he presses the button. And he's like, "What the fuck? This button isn't even analog. What the fuck is this?" <laughs> oh, okay. I don't even know where the. Call is more of like the old school that, uh, slot machines. I, I have to that pull the lever. Yeah, I can. I can use this one. 
I need one. I need one now. Yeah. If you guys consider, I, I don't, don't know if this one is also Dango or something else. Don't the silver spaces just have okay. a lower activation? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, totally won't uh, won't take too long. So when I'm yeah. done, I'll give it back. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to the question later. Uh, the, uh, one of the blue ones. Yeah. yeah. Good oh, question now, you want. So I was thinking. Uh, oh, too late. Thanks a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh I'm going to explain how the now the advanced DKS works, and then we can just cut this out of the live stream, and that can be the video to explain how to use it for the beta users. Something that uh, we don't have yet. Right? Why? Oh, that's not a good idea. Why not? Because it's not going to be a good overview, and also it will also take too long, and then I think it will be very interesting. I've explained this DKS stuff the whole freaking time. You think it takes me half an hour to explain this? I do it, Calder. Two minutes. Okay, there we I'm, go. I'm, I'm going to do the one silence, okay? Three, two. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No, wait. No. Ah, uh, see? Wait. See? It's already uh, taking no. longer. No, no, no. Just wait no, for no. a little bit. Because the mouse isn't too great, so it's better for this prepare this in advance. Otherwise, uh, I'm be struggling to get the pointer correct, and it like waste of time for the video. <laughs> so. Somebody should clip it also. Yeah. Okay. Clipping ready. Okay. Are we ready? Okay, let's do this. Okay. Yes. Three, two, one. Hey okay. everybody. Hey everybody, are you want? <laughs> hey everybody, do you want to use the new advanced DKS? Well, let me explain how to use it. I'm not going to do the whole video like this. Okay, so too bad you cannot see yeah. anything on the screen, Calder. Oh, I can't. Okay. okay, right. <laughs> okay <that's right. laughs> this, this should work. What do you mean yeah. it's getting worse? It's only getting better. <laughs> okay. This is entertainment. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, you're fucking up the whole yeah. highlights. Okay. Okay. Okay, go. This is the advanced DKS overview. It's not the final design. It will be improved, but this is what we can work with. So basically, now DKS became more advanced. You have more activation points. Here you can set which key you want to have the multiple activation points with. And here you can set which actions you want to perform. Okay. Now you can see here, fear, uh, fear, four points where the switch activates an action. Okay. So this is on the top, at the end, and then on the return of the key, and then on the return uh, of the release of the key. Okay. Then here you have a whole grid where you can assign any of the four actions to do something on those points. Okay. You can do basically two things. Okay. Number one is, which I do need to use the mouse now, huh? uh, is a continuous press. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to click some random things. There we go. So number one is a continuous press, and that, which means between this action point and that action point, it will activate, uh, between this activation point and this activation point, it will activate your action the whole time. You repeat the key during this whole time. But if you have this situation, oops, this one, then on this activation point, it will just activate this action only one time, okay? And now you can do that for all the different actions. So you can do something funny, which is not here now as the example. Um, but here, what's happened here now, is you can see if I press the key from the start to the end, it will repeat press H up until I reach the end here. And then when I, my key goes back, it will activate H again once. It will also activate the I between this point and the next point, and it doesn't end yet. Uh, and uh, because here on this first one, I have shift also assigned to repeat. It will make this actually a capital H now because it's H and left shift together now. And then you know, and so forth, you can make your bindings. So that's how the advanced sticky S works. And uh, you can figure out creative ways to use it in different games. Thanks, Carlo. I think that summarizes it, right? Yeah. It. I think it's better if you have a real-life example when you explain it and just start off slowly and what you want to explain because now it was some sort of mumbo-jumbo. Well, everybody is... Uh, I wish I could I could show the example, but I was not able to load the beta firmware on the keyboard. <laughs> so that doesn't work. 
I had a really great example I used for other people, and then uh, I, uh, which was very clear. And then I realized I was pressing the key. I was like, "Why doesn't work? Shit!" You know, and I realized, oh, "Fuck!" Just stupid. Yeah, it's on the keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> Should have just done a restore with the beta software, and it would have worked. Okay. You say that, but uh, the 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 PC also has no internet, so. Oh, okay. So anyway, I. Uh, Anyway, so but I assume everybody here is already familiar with PKS, so. Super Muscle says, I am none the wiser, but I look good. <laughs> I think I think it's good to make an actual video about it. If you're back in Taiwan. But we yeah. should make a script for it and you can explain it slowly. Because the DKS is a very cool, underutilized function, I guess. I think so. And we really need feedback yeah, on the DKS. That's, that, that's the important part, because I'm not sure how we should do the whole interface now it should work exactly and we just need more feedback for it and i guess that's called this whole point that everybody should join the beta program play with it and give us feedback and make whole make the whole idea of dks even better yeah yeah exactly that's that's the thing we need i, I already but I, there's already a couple of things that can make it more clear about uh, what what it is um, don't right influence the users Sorry? Oh, okay. D K S, dick ass. <laughs> uh, we have to. <laughs> we have to change the name. Yeah, yeah. can I join the beta? You just guys need just need to send me wooding. Dick ass. <laughs> uh, we need to change the name actually because it's not a double key stroke anymore. That's true. It is. It's now it's now Q K S. Quadruple key stroke. <laughs> Yep. Oh my god. Quantum so keystroke. You, MKS, you go for MKS, you know, then it doesn't matter how god. many you have. Multi. No, that's keystroke. It's, it's QKS. Quinn, Quinn will come up with a good name for sure. Dick yes, ass. Quinn, yes, please. Dick ass. Okay. Okay. So, Jeroen is going to fix the beta over the weekend. Yes. So, everybody can jump in again. I but please, I you, played you a lot. Said, try it. Thanks to this new DKS, I can play Metagus Solid 5 the way it's supposed to be played on an analog keyboard. Yeah, it works. Yeah, because also if you compare it to the old DKS, you can do the same things like the old DKS uh, for most part at least. Um, but it works better. It's more accurate. It like works as 100% as you would expect it to work. Hmm. And if it doesn't, then you know you should tell us because that's tell also you why we have the beta. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks right. for your time, Carl. But seriously, turbo yes. button for repetitive red pick click signals. So what, what what application we use it for? Like for semi-auto guns in games, that you just want to spam all the bullets out. I heard. Is the Windows lock still in beta? No, it's on your keyboard right now. Woo! Does it work? Yes. It works. Doesn't work on my wooden I heard somebody else. Yes, sir, I heard somebody else also talking about the repeat keys, and they also he also referred to it as a turbo key or something. Mm. About you can control what the the speed of the repeat rate is, and it was something about you want the repeat rate to be high enough that it's on the maximum, but. Uh, low enough so the game doesn't detect it as cheating, something like that. <laughs> or uh, that the game still registers the input. So what was one of the two, but I'm, I'm assuming it's about the cheating part. But hey, uh, people in the chat have a new idea about the wooding mercs. We should make bubble hats of uh, each of our heads. And you can put them on your desk. <laughs> bubble hats? Like wobble the wobbly hats. hats. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh is that one available? They have so the, the company we use has so much. No, they don't, they don't have wobbly ads. <laughs> oh, China Chinese manufacturer. No? Yeah, China Chinese manufacturer. 3D, uh, maybe you can do a 3D printer. A call of Funko Pop, that would be great. It's like you get like a little booklet with it, with color only lines with nagging and text. <laughs> Woody Mertz give away every Steam to get more viewers. I don't know if this kind of merch will get you more viewers, man. 
I do uh, want, you know what? I'm going to say it again. And I think uh, I'm going to start buying one of some of our own merch. But I want to have a hoodie for the winter time. A wooden hoodie. <laughs> yeah, I want to have a yeah. cap. I also want to. And I want a cap I, too. I also want yeah. a new cap. I think a hoodie oh. is good for the winter time. The hoodie is, it's really not, it's really easy uh, Eric, to use. And, uh, maybe what, Eric can make a design. What, the hoodie or a beanie? A hoodie. 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 Yeah. Chad, Chad what do you Cap think about a uh, hoodie? I, I, hoodie. I'm still yes, waiting. No? I'm Very still nice. waiting until the end of the year quiz when it will get his hoodie or his shirt because I'm... A Woody! A Woody! <laughs> <laughs> You do, you do understand now we have to make it, right? A Woody. A Woody. <laughs> a Woody. That's so awesome. The Woody. A Woody, please. Okay. We have some people for a Woody. Uh, for a Woody or for a Woody? A Woody. <laughs> what kind Which, of Woody? A oh, Woody or a morning Woody? <laughs> <laughs> this live stream needs to end. I don't, I don't know what can be said. Maybe that's a good name for the DKS, Woody. <laughs> oh, Woody, we, we can make like an avatar called Woody who helps you understand how the utility and analog works. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. So it's like a smiling Woody logo that's like dancing <laughs> around the utility. Like Clippy from uh, Microsoft. <laughs> Clippy. I'm here to help you. I can't get the thought out of my mind that it's a dick with eyes. <laughs> what? How the Clippy? software works. No, a Woody. Oh. No. That's Willy. <laughs> Not Woody. <laughs> oh my god, Clippy. I miss Clippy. So useless. Okay. Hey, but, did you know you can press caps lock? But let's, yeah. uh, let's end the stream. Yep. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, just to quickly recap it, we mostly talk about the delivery date of the Woody 2, and we went straight to Gala live from CES in Las Vegas, which is pretty cool. I'm glad he had the time to join and could show where he was, because we actually hadn't properly seen where you were the last no. week. We only saw no, like a I few. No, no, I don't share things. Yeah, the only I just do. <laughs> the, only, the, only, the only way that we know where you are is because you see your trip pop up in our email. Oh, so the again. Says, yeah. Whoa, 30 bucks on Uber, holy shit. No. <laughs> so, everybody, if you want to know more info about the uh, delivery, be sure to check Discord. There's a link and there's actually a separate channel where it displays the current delivery date. And if you have any questions, be sure to let us know. And uh, thanks for uh, watching. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh, Where's the dog? Say bye. <laughs> woof woof. Yeah. <laughs> Animal <laughs> Somebody call Peter. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>